in troubled dreams, you fly over the four lands pulled by a relentless force. Ahead of you looms a dark, ancient ruin. You feel yourself being dragged into darkness. Within the cold, grim halls of this unknown place, you see a twisted gnome chanting quietly over an ancient and marvelous book. out to take the beautiful sword. You feel a great sadness and a sense of loss as the magical sword vanishes. Somehow, this shape terrifies you even more than those which came before. To your horror, the robed figure sees you. You cannot move. You cannot escape. with a start in the forest near Shady Vale. You try to recall the grim nightmare, but all memory of it has vanished from your mind as if something or someone has taken it from you. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to Shannara. Let's make this a little less... Uh, it's a shame that the... Uh, can I make it less loud or only... No. Okay, so it can only be loud. So, this game was created by Laurie and Corey Cole, based off of the Terry Brooks series on the Sword of Shannara. It's a pretty good game. Uh, it's not been played a lot online that I'm aware of. Mostly have seen people like Scorch82 do it back in the day. So we are going to take a look at it. And when we are going to get started. So I'm sure you saw there's uh, definitely some bad guy that we're going to have to be dealing with, and that would be the Warlock Lord, Brona, we just saw. So if you don't know anything about Legend Entertainment, their games were a lot different point-and-click-wise. You could look at things and usually get a little bit of an item thing, so like you could look at the waterfall, try to climb it, listen, the waterfall rushes past, drowning out all other sounds here. You can look. Long, delicate willow branches arch over the stream. The branches are all just out of reach. 
so there's not a lot we can do from that stuff. We do have a stick that we have now taken. The stick is a twisted piece of wood about two feet long. And you got your knife. Your small hunting knife isn't much as a weapon, but it is certainly better than nothing. And we are Jack Umsford. So we'll get to do more of that later because we are at full health. We do have a brook. You see a golden glint in the stream. It appears to be a reflection of something up in the willow tree. So we've taken our fishing pole. And we can take the journal. You pick up your journal and flip it open. The Journal of Jack Omsford, Shady Vale. Had a fight with Dad again today. Shay said that I was wasting my time dreaming of adventure instead of getting work done. He said that anyone who wanted to be a hero was a fool who didn't have enough sense to be afraid. Shay has no right to tell me that. I can't that I cannot be an adventurer. After all, he had his adventures and defeated the Warlock Lord with the Sword of Shannara long before I was born. So yes, he is a descendant here now of someone from the original talking about this Sword of Shannara. I told Shay I had no intention of wasting my life as an innkeeper in Shady Vale. The place could burn down for all I cared. I've never seen Shay angry than after I said that. He didn't say a word, just walked off. I figured that this was a perfect time to go fishing before he came back and yelled at me again. I don't need notes. Go away. Okay. Thus, I start this journal because I don't think I'll be hanging around Shady Vale much longer after this fight. Besides, since the fish don't seem to be biting, I might as well write while sitting here. And then it's got our player notes, which we do not have any yet. So there we go. No, go away. Yeah, you didn't sit out of that. All right, now back to our very loud uh, scream. All right, so what we want to do is, let's see here. You tie the stick to the end of your fishing pole using some fishing line. Okay, you part the branches with your pole, revealing a bird's nest high up in the willow tree. Looks as though a piece of golden jewelry is hanging from the nest. So yeah, we want to catch the locket with the fishing pole. The bird's not having that, it's out of here. You snag the golden object with your makeshift pole. It slides down the pole to your hand just as the stick breaks loose and falls into the stream. The object is a golden locket shaped like a shield. It depicts a coat of arms that you're sure you've seen somewhere before. And oh my! This walking bird seems to have drawn the attention of something you've never seen before, save in nightmares. So, we're not going to win this on our own. You can actually look at help. What am I supposed to do? Uh, well, your task is to survive. You control Jack's actions directly and your friend's actions by giving orders. Fight only when you must. Retreat from lesser battles. After giving orders, Jack can attack, defend, or retreat at his turn. And then when Jack's figure is surrounded by a white box, more tips are in your game manual. So yeah, we don't really need to worry about this one. That's kind of just going to happen. So let's attack. So yeah, we're going to just do this until we get some assistance here. Just as you feel your strength failing, a tall, dark figure appears at your side. Yeah, he's dead. You turn to face the mysterious person who aided you. The man gestures and a wave of heat flows over you. Your injuries heal before your very eyes. You are Jack Olmsford. Your father is Shay Olmsford. Your elven heritage is quite apparent. Why are you here? Uh, because I don't like my dad. We're having teenage angst moments. My name is Jack. How did you know who I was? I know your father. You study the powerful man standing before you. You have only ever heard of one person like him. So, who are you? My name is Alanon. Alanon, the mysterious druid who guided your father on his quest to find the Sword of Shannara. 
What did you do to that creature? I have made certain that it can no longer harm others. Made it dead. What is going on here? Your home, Shady Vale, will soon be attacked by an army of monsters. I will go there and warn your father. You must go to Lee and warn many in Lee that his kingdom will soon be under attack. What do you mean, me? Of course, we just wanted adventure. It is vital that someone warn Minion of the danger, and you will be safer in Lee than in Shady Vale. Safe? I'm not a child anymore. I can take care of myself. As you were able to defend yourself against that creature? Without my help, you would be dead now. Very true. If my home is in danger, I should go there. You cannot be of any help there. Your father and I will defend Shady Vale. Who are you trying to give me orders? Well, it's Alanon. Who are you to question me, child? <laughs> exactly. You know who I am. Alanon, the last of the druids. I could destroy you with a word. You will do what I say, because it must be done. And because right now you are the only one who can do it. So this is kind of like in like Star Trek when it's the... Uh... We're the, we're the only ship in range, we're the only person in range, even though there should be lots of people to do this. Shady Vale will be the first point of attack, but they will advance on Lee soon. Unless defenses are prepared, the city of Lee will be overrun. Is it going to Lee dangerous? Yes, the monsters are everywhere, but if you are careful, you can avoid most of them. However, there are dangers all around, and no place is safe. How do I get to Lee? You will need to travel east, cross the Rappahaladron River, and go up into the foothills. Listen to me, Jack. This is very important. The Shade of Brona has been summoned from the dead. His dark spirit seeks vengeance on all who opposed him. Your father is one of his targets, because Shade destroyed him long ago. Many and Lee is another. Unless he is warned, Brona will have his revenge. If you do not warn Lee, many will die. You must get there safely and quickly. Avoid monsters and take no chances. Good luck, Jack. We will meet again. Before you can say more to him, Alanon strides off into the forest like some ominous black bird of prey, and you are alone in the woods. Before you start on your new adventure, you stop to write a few notes in your journal about your meeting with Alanon. So we're basically on this map, and they said we need to go east. We're right here at Shady Vale. We do not want to go back to Shady Vale. We want to start going east. So we will do that. And there is a monster up there we would probably like to avoid. You hear something moving in the forest just ahead of you. You stand perfectly still for a few seconds and cautiously slip through the trees. You have come to a small clearing. A beautiful young woman lies trapped under a fallen tree limb. Jack? Jack, is that you? A young woman is lying on the ground. She looks familiar, but you're sure you'd remember someone this lovely if you'd ever met her before. Don't you recognize me? I know it's been a few years, but I haven't changed that much, have I? Suddenly, it dawns on you. It's me, Shella. You know, Minion Lee's daughter? We used to spend time together when your father visited my father. Help me, will ya? I can't move this stupid tree. Yeah, so, we got a log on her. Let's just push the log. Hold on. Not move it. You put all your weight into moving the log, but your feet keep slipping on the turf. You need to find something you can use to brace them. Alrighty, so... Oh, kitty, do not come here. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorry, folks. Okay. Let's see here. not really what I wanted to do. Hold on. I'm trying to remember exactly how to click what to make make it go here. Let's see here. Let's see here. 
She ran against the rock and managed to move it closer to Shella. Okay, now I should be able to... You brace your feet against the large rock, then strain to move the heavy tree limb. Shella gets one arm free and helps you lift. Finally, the two of you working together manage to move the fallen limb off of her. Suddenly, Shella grabs her bow and fires an arrow directly towards you. You hear a roar just behind you and turn in time to see a monster fall to the ground, slain by Shella's arrow. Got him. Now we're even. You saved me, I saved you. What's going on here? I've never seen so many monsters in my life. You tell Shella what Alanon told you. Brona? But I thought your father destroyed him a long time ago. Yeah, we have to have sequels. <laughs> kiss, uh-huh. Shella smiles, but definitely avoids your kiss. Really, Jack? I'm gonna hit you with an arrow right through the head. You were both children when you last saw Shella Lee. She has grown up into a beautiful young woman since then. So let's see what we've got going on here. Since he says he's added. Okay. I met the druid Alanon. Looks like my wishes are coming true. I'll prove to my father that I can be as fine a hero as Shay is. I've even fought a monster and defeated it with Alanon's help. Alanon said that the warlock lord, Brona, is back and is sending out an army of monsters for revenge. Guess Shay didn't destroy Brona completely after all. I've got to go to Lee and warn King Min... Uh, I can't say it wrong. Minion about this. I'll fix it later. Alanon is going on to help defend Shady Vale. I hope everything goes all right. Wouldn't want anything to really happen to Shay or the Inn. Now I'm off on a real adventure. It's like, even though I said I wanted it to burn to the ground earlier, I really didn't mean that. Why are you here? I was looking for my locket. I lost it on my last hunting trip. What did your locket look like? It's shaped like a shield with my family crest on it. It's on a golden chain. How did you lose your locket? I took it off while I was bathing in the Rappahaladron River, and a bird carried it off this way. Do you go hunting often? Yes. My father trained me. I'm a good scout and tracker. I'm also very good with my bow, as you can tell. I can. Why is the locket so important? I don't know. It's just that my father always told me never to lose it. I promised him I'd be careful with it, so... I really need to find it. Okay. Here's your locket back. You take the locket from your backpack and ask Shella if it's hers. That's my locket! How did you find it? I found it in a bird's nest. I knew that bird stole it. I just didn't have my bow ready at the time. Well, the least I can do to thank you is to take you to Lee. You'll need all the help you can get to avoid the monsters. But with me scouting for us, we'll have no problem getting there safely. Let's go. Alright, so at this point, it's too deep to cross. So it's not really going to do anything else. So basically, what we're going to need to do here is go north the best we can to cross. Jack, wait! There are monsters over there. Yeah, we want to try to stay away from those. If we go much further north, we'll be blocked by the river. Oh, I thought you were supposed to. Oh, oh well. My bad. The Rappahaladron's too swift and wide to cross here. We can either go south where the river slows oh, down, went north. or north where it becomes more shallow. South has more monsters to avoid, and north takes us out of the way. The choice is yours. Well, then let's go north. If we try to cross... The Rappahaladron... Okay. We didn't really go that far out of the way. There we go. Alright, let's get back on the road. There's a monster down there we don't need to fight.
Shella points to the walled town of Lee to the east. The road appears to be clear of monsters, and your perilous journey seems to be complete at last. I know exactly where we are now. Come on, I'll lead you to my home. You quickly make your way to the city. The gates stand open. Apparently the monsters have not yet threatened the town itself. You have entered the Lee City Gate with Shella. A road leads north towards the Lee Mansion. Other roads wind through the city. Princess Shella, you must go to the manor house as quickly as possible. What's wrong, Thomas? Your father has taken ill. Jack, we need to get home quickly. Father's never ill. Or at least he never admits it. Okay, well let's ask this guy about it then. What's wrong with King Minion? That's all I know. I was told to inform the princess when she returned. The city is in danger. We've been followed here by monsters. Monsters? We've seen no monsters around here. There's an army of monsters between here and Shady Vale. Be on guard and warn the others. I'll notify my captain. Thank you. Jack, come on. We need to alert my father. See you later, Thomas. Good day to you both. So in these kind of games, like, you can move using this. It's kind of what Legend Entertainment did. The cobblestone path leads from the gate to the grounds of Lee Mansion. The huge hickory trees are just turning to fall collars, but the barren branches of fruit trees and the dogwoods and the coolness in the air reveal the presence of autumn. There's my house up ahead. Let's go. Uh, you look fun. This man looks arrogant and unpleasant. Although you can't really judge what's wrong with him, his face looks grim and his left eye looks cloudy. You feel uneasy around him. You see a hole in the ground where a plant has recently been dug up. The stake nearby identifies the missing plant as a sassafras. You don't feel comfortable searching the garden under the bale for eye of the gardener. You know what's wrong with the king? How would I know? He's just a gardener, Jack. Not a doctor. Nice garden. The man just stares sullenly at you, as if studying your face. I'm Jack. Jack, we don't have time... Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm the gardener. What happened to Ernst? Took sick. There's a lot of that going around, I guess. <sighs> he scowls at you in response. All right, so in we go. Greetings, Princess Shella. His Highness, your father, is ill and has asked to see you. Hello, Winston. How is he? Not well, my lady. The sickness came on suddenly and has hit him hard. He's in his chamber. We'll go see him right away. Come on, Jack. My father's room is upstairs. What's wrong? <laughs> He's very weak and disoriented. I have not seen him like this before. How long has this been going on? He took ill two evenings ago. Good day, sir. The smell of medicinal herbs fills the air of King Minion's bedroom. Shella rushes to the side of her father's still figure. Father? Father, I've returned. Father, please, can you hear me? It's Shella. I've come home. Oh, Jack, he's not responding. I've never seen him like this before. Although the leaves left in the teacup look like sassafras leaves, there is something odd about their odor. Hmm. You pick up the teacup. What do you want that for? It's just a teacup. I wanted to look at it more carefully. It looks like my father drank his tea from it. The tea leaves are still on the bottom. Uh-huh. Let's see here. Go. Father? He doesn't Yeah, he's not any better. I cannot remember. Let's see here. That guy's gone. Is this where... Yeah, this is where I want to go. How is King Menion, your highness? I'm afraid he's quite ill. We're going to see the herbalist. I hope he'll be well soon. Thanks, Thomas. This sign indicates it's a shop where herbs and potions are sold. Bing, bang, here's where we want to go. You hear a muffled voice telling you to come in.
Enticing herbal smells rise from the many sachets and bottles neatly arranged on the shelves. The man behind the counter looks up as you enter. Ah, Princess Shella. Welcome. Welcome, both of you. Now, how may I help you? Hello, Jonas. My father is ill and we need your help. I'll be happy to do whatever I can for you and your father. Well, we have this uh, teacup here. Hmm, this is quite odd. The leaves in the cup smell like sassafras. Let me test this feather. The herbalist puts a few drops of liquid into the cup. Then he looks through the big book on his table. Ugh, I suspected as much. This was made from the leaves of the dread dyer. What's that? It's a plant in the sassafras family, but extremely rare and extremely poisonous. It produces symptoms exactly like King Minion's. Is there an antidote? I can make one up. Let me look in my book here. Um, mm, ah, here it is. Yes, yes, I, I, oh no, oh no. I'm out of some of the ingredients. Ah, uh, well, I need some dogwood flowers, some cloves, and the, uh, oh yes, I'm out of charcoal. But dogwood trees don't bloom this time of year. Well, that is a bit of a wee problem, isn't it? Still, I can't make the antidote without dogwood blossoms. You'll just have to find a way to get some. Alright, so in the next episode, we are going to start trying to figure out a way to cure Minion Lee and continue on with the game. Yeah, I really do like this game a lot, and I hope you all do too. It's, it's something that I felt like I should play. I mean, Quest for Glory is one of my favorite series ever, and, you know, Lori and Corey Cole do a wonderful job with this series, so I thought that I would share it with you all. So this has been Chris from the Gaming Corner playing Shannara. Stay tuned for part two. Bye, everybody.